The Stars of Magic Show is this Saturday, but our next guest is giving us a sneak peek at the excitement. Mike Bikadam, who is no stranger to performing magic in front of a crowd, joins us now. Yes. How are you guys doing? Well, we're doing great. Excellent. Well, I thought I would give you guys a card trick. I don't think you guys have experienced this yet on the show. Uh, and this is basically how most magicians will start. A deck of cards, a couple of card tricks, and a pick a card, any card. So we'll have you okay. try that out. Go ahead and take any card. You can take any one. It doesn't matter. Okay. And you can show the uh, camera, show the, show the audience. It doesn't right matter okay. there. Okay. All right. Pretty good. And you can just set that right back on top. All right, now it doesn't really matter if I see it. I've seen this trick before. Oh, okay. <laughs> the idea here is I have to try and get your card. I have to find it, but I cheat. I use a magic string, right? <laughs> we just wrap that around the deck and tie a knot. Now there's a lot of cards in here. I don't know where yours is, but okay. I just pull on the string and bring that card up to the top, uh -huh. which is kind of cool, but we'll, we'll put it at the bottom. Not your card, no. different card, right? Pull on that little piece of string and it will <gasps> jump right up to the top, right? Here, I'll let you try it. We'll put it right down there. You can take the little string right there, yes, the, okay. little pull. Perfect. <laughs> right to the top. There it is. Now I'll admit something to you, we, we weren't really using magic string. Oh no. I know, it probably, what? well, there was you know, nothing. I, that was I thought that was the whole point of the trick. Right, well, <laughs> magic string. We, we, magicians can make things happen. What, what we can do is we can just, it looks like your card. It's not really a card. If you watch close, you'll actually, it was actually, oh my gosh. it wasn't really your card. Now, of course, people say, well, that's because you're controlling the deck, you're doing things. So I tell you, we'll have you try as well. Go ahead and take a card. And in fact, you can tell they're all different. Any card yes, that you'd like, anyone, you can take your own, gonna, own I'm special gonna go, pick. I'm going to go way down here. Perfect. Now, hopefully, there's a little bit of space on that card, like maybe some blank space. I'm going to have you write on that. Okay. Ooh. Will that work? That'll work. All right. Which color would you like, green, red, or blue? Blue. Blue. Let's get a blue marker here. And I don't want to see the card. You can just write your name right on the uh, face of the card, not the back, and not your face, but. <laughs> Don't draw your face. <laughs> okay. I'll take the marker there. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Very nice. And uh, I'll take the card back here. We'll sit it right about in the middle somewhere. There. Okay. It would be really good if I could get that card to jump to the top it without would magic string, right? <laughs> so here we go. Comes right to the top with your <gasps> name on it. Now, of course, I'm controlling the cards. That's probably the reason. Would you put your hand out flat for me? And I want you to put your hands on top of the deck so that I can't get at them. Keep them nice and okay. tight there. I'm going to remove the top card, which would be your card, right? I'm just, just giving you enough wiggle room to remove that top card. And I'm going to actually change it into the Eight of Hearts. Now, I know that's not impressive, <laughs> but that means your card is on top. Now, just feel as I take it out of the top, your card should be right here on top, <gasps> right there. Now we're going to go one step further. I'm actually going to make every single card in your hands disappear. Now you can still see them there, yes? Yes. We're going to make every single card vanish. Done. Would that be impressive? That would really be impressive. Go ahead, take a look. Every card has disappeared. <gasps> oh my gosh, every what? Single card gone. Oh my gosh. All of them disappeared, right? Amazing. Okay, seriously. <laughs> that Jaw makes my dropping. job really easy, like, right? Wow. And that's what I do. As a magician. And you know what? So I was like squeezing like so hard because I was like, there's no yeah. way. And I could see it on the side. I'm like, I still see something there. Yes, <laughs> and I'm sure everybody in the audience could too. It's crazy. That is so cool. So now you know why you're going to want to come out this weekend and check out our show. We have close-up magicians. We have stage magicians. It's going to be a lot of fun. So is the card tricks like your specialty? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more. I do close-up magic. I'm a restaurant magician, so we work real close to people. So cards, coins, money, things like that. Just anything that's not really big, props, you know, that kind of thing, which is kind of what I like. I like to get away from the things that are, you know, a trick that maybe somebody would buy from a magic shop or something. Right. Like that. I, I try to get away from that. That's, that's why cards are kind of nice, because they're just, they're just cards. And mm -hmm. I always love to hear the stories of how they got started, and you have a very cute yes, one. Yes, actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, my daughter's uh, six-year-old birthday party, she got a magic kit. She didn't know what she was doing, and I said, uh, you know, that looks neat. And before I knew it, I was like, get out of here. I'm doing this. <laughs> and, and that was the hook. So I went straight to the magic shop, bought myself some tricks, and uh, that was it. And that was about, about eight years ago, and uh, ever since I was beaten. So I'm kind of one of the late bloomers. Most of these guys were like kids, you know, mm -hmm. they were good as kids. Me, it was about eight years ago. I'm, I'm a teacher. I was looking for something else fun to do, and uh, there you go. So I, I was hooked, and now, I'm, now this is my second year in the show. Um, but before that, I was working behind the scenes because it's, it's just fun. Every mm -hmm. aspect of it's fun. So. As a magician, how do you keep reinventing yourself? Like, how do you keep coming up with new tricks or spinning off of a trick that you've always done? Yeah, I, I, unfortunately, I'm not a creator yet. I'm more of a follower, so I'll watch other magicians. We can look at, we have professional magicians of our club that will come and teach us some things. And for me, it's, will it work in my line? You know, I'm, I'm in a restaurant. I'm with somebody. I have just limited space. I don't want to carry around a truck of 
prop. So it's got to be something that's small, something that I can just, you know, get into real quick. But I am always looking for that next thing. You know, you get bored of a trick. But there are some that I just, I can't get rid of. Mm -hmm. You know, you just kind of stick. In fact, uh, I am a teacher. I should show you this. It's kind of interesting. I teach fifth grade. Okay. I, I, this is my salary. All uh, five dollars. <laughs> oh, right. Which is kind of sad, but we get paid by the grade level. So, you know, oh, a lot no. of people don't realize fifth grade, five bucks. But I did find something you can do with dollar bills. A lot of people don't realize. Take a little friction, a little pressure, and you can change <gasps> those dollar bills into twenty dollar bills, which is a little better for me, right? Right. So, well, that helps. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see they're real twenty dollar bills, so that's like you know hundred bucks. <laughs> and usually when I do that, people are like, oh, "Do that for me?" Well, I actually did that for this guy. He was a police officer. He's like, "That's against the law." I said, "Look, look, these are just dollars. They're not really." He said, "No, I saw the water. Watch close, watch close. These were just dollar bills. They were never twenties. They were just dollars. So no jail for me that night." Right? Okay. Oh, good. Whew. Thank goodness. That is yeah. so. That is so cool. I'm just always so amazed by these tricks and like, how do you? Do it. And I mean, we are so close to you right. that you would think that we would be able to see something. Again, my Blenders, passion. I'm telling you, I cannot see anything. I cannot no. see right. anything of how this stuff All is those done. wires, you don't see them? I know. Wow, it's uh, where are they? <laughs> and oh I'm still God. trying to perfect, perfect the, uh, the I got your nose trick. But yeah, I, I have moved away from that one. Yeah. <laughs> thank goodness. Yes. You're way better. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mike, well, thank so you much for, for having coming. Me. Yes. And again, the uh, Stars Magic this Saturday, one show only 7 o'clock. So hopefully everybody will come out and uh, it should be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. The Stars of Magic show is this Saturday. Saturday at the Temple of Music and Art at 7 p.m. Tickets are just $15 for adults, $10 for, chil for children. To purchase yours, go online to starsofmagicshow.com. That's starsofmagicshow.com. Coming up, Tucson is famous for Old West movies, and now it could become famous for movies set in Rome. Ooh. See what we mean when the Morning Blend continues.